Hey, hello and welcome to this new After Effects tutorial by Flowmotion. You may have seen that I recently did some comic and motion graphic effects like the flag animation and you may have also seen some wave animations on my YouTube channel and today I want to show you really quickly how I did those animations. So let's directly get started. We want to create a new composition call it our main composition and make it 1920 by 1080 10 seconds should be fine for our tutorial now we want to create a new composition for our waves and for the waves we want to make them way more wider so let's just type in 4000 here and they don't need to be that high so let's just go down to 500 and we hit ok and now let's just quickly create a solid by hitting Control Y. Give it a nice wavy color. Hit OK. And now let's just create the base of our waves. And there are a lot of ways to create those waves. You could do all of that with shape layers and use repeaters and stuff but today I want to show you this method and maybe I'll talk about the repeaters and all the funny stuff you could do with shape layers in one of my next tutorials. So we click on our waves layer here and just use the ellipse tool hit control shift to make them completely round and use the space bar to position them and for now just copy those And as I said before, there are many different ways on how to create those waves. But for now, let's just stick with this method and create all of this with only masks. Maybe like two more. Now let's just give them a bit of a nicer look. We can maybe just start with adding a ramp effect to it gradient ramp and for the start color let's disable this so for the start color we can just use the blue and for the top let's not use white but a bit lighter in the blue color so for that let's just take the exact same blue color and now we can go into the blue and just go more against the white edge hit OK and now we can enable it again and bring those closer together. And we can just swap the colors. And if you have the same issue that you can't really bring them in one line here, hey, just hit Control R, you have some rulers, bring them out, and now they are snapping, and everything should be fine. If they are not snapping, just enable your snapping over here. Okay, so we can tweak that a little more, just duplicate it, tint it a little bit, or just get rid of the gradient ramp, however you want to do it, or just use a different solid color, but for now I'm just taking a blue, maybe let's once again take that blue tone and just go darker with it. You could now just bring it up a little bit and copy the first layer once again, bring it beneath everything and just extend it outwards and you can do that with the choker. And just for the sake of it, let's duplicate this once more, tint it white and just add a choker to it and we can just bring it to the top until we should definitely see it and it's maybe better on black and now bring out the choker now bring out the choker or in this case bring it down okay there we have some really nice looking motion graphic waves and just to give it a little bit more detail let's create a new solid again make this maybe in our blue color in our darker blue color again Type in bubbles to create some nice 
water looking bubbles just play around with the settings here bring the speed to zero the amplitude to zero frequency to zero maybe just make them smaller now you could use your whole wave just precompose it call it wave or wave look and use that to cut out the bubbles so just set it to alpha mat maybe duplicate all of this and just maybe switch sides maybe go down with the transparency a bit and there we have some nice looking motion graphic waves so back in our main comp what we want to do is we want to bring out our waves so let's call the comp one waves comp just to keep everything organized bring it down here and bring it down here and now we want our waves to kind of do this rotation movement and that could be pretty tricky to keyframe so we use a nice trick here create a new solid call it our circle hit ok and just create a circle in about the shape and size you want to have your circle movement something like that should already be fine then we create a new null by hitting Control shift alt y or layer new null and now comes the tricky part we go to our mask go to our path click on the mask path copy it and just paste it onto the position so you have to select it and hit Control v for paste now we can disable our circle what we have now is a circle animation but of course we don't want this to only do one circle but just do it over and over again so to loop it and we can do that by simply alt clicking on our position type in loop out duration brackets cycle close and click away so what this expression does and just be aware that you have to use capital letters and just check your writing it just takes the animation that you have set with the keyframes and just loops it out the entire duration in a circle perfect that is what we wanted so to keep everything organized let's call this our waves or one and we have the null O1 so let's just take the pick whip and add them to the null now they're doing a wave movement and now let's start creating a nice look let's just start with a background so here we again want to use just like a blue sky color for the background again let's for the sake of it use a ramp effect as before make it blue to maybe this is our sun color go for radial ramp we have the sun over here something like this now our waves should be 3d so we go down to the toggle switches if you don't see the 3d button which is this button here and click it and as i'm doing this i'm going to a second view i'm choosing the active camera for this one and uh, now i'm clicking on this window you can see it with the triangle that it's activated and choose a custom view for this one now let's also make our background a 3d layer and we can now push it back and obviously the two views just are a better indicator where you are at the moment 
and I'm just scaling it up again. And I want to bring the waves more to the front. Maybe just about this position. I hit P to see the position and now I'm just typing in something like minus 600 just to keep it organized. Perfect. And now for the sake of it let's create a new camera. 50 milliliters should look fine and we hit OK. And there we have the camera. And you can see when I'm moving the camera the waves are reacting. And this is exactly what we want. Okay. So now there would be different ways to animate different waves. And I could just duplicate the null and the waves a few times and then offset it. But I want to do this a bit different. So now I'm going to the null, click on the first keyframe and convert expression to keyframes. Now we have a keyframe for each frame. And now we can click copy, go to the position and just paste it. And now we can just disable the parenting and get rid of our null. And I'm just repositioning the waves now. This is just because because I parented them while they were all the way down. So I click U to see all my keyframes and click on the word positions. So all of them are selected now and just bring them up. Now I can just duplicate it. Control D. Hit U again to see all the position keyframes. Select all and just move them to the back. Like maybe just 200 pixels more. And do the same thing once again. P. Don't forget to click on the position so all of them are selected. So when you're bringing them further back, all keyframes are going further to the back. Maybe take the waves one again and do the same thing, but now we just bring them closer to the camera by going down minus 200. Okay, and now we can just play with our camera, bring it closer to the waves and more down. Now let's just go back to a one view and to our active camera. And now of course we want to offset them. And the more structured you do that, the nicer it will look in the end. So this is already really looking nice and this is exactly what I planned to do. Let's just do some more fine tweaks. At first, for the look of it, I have created a new light layer, new light. Just take a point light, just tint it, maybe also in some kind of sunlight. I'm going a bit extreme now, but just for you to see it and hit OK. And you can see what this is doing. And when you click on the waves layer, as they are 3D now, you can go down to the material options and just enable them to cast shadows. Now you have to do the same to the light. So go down to the light options, cast shadows, on. Now you can see that we are creating some shadows, but they are obviously way too strong. So you can go down in the shadow settings from the light and also make them more diffuse. Maybe also change the color again to make it more of a wide look. Okay, maybe we also have to bring the background a little bit more to the back because that would normally not cast any shadow. And now the last thing that I would do to make this really look awesome, of course, would be to create way more wave layers. Add a camera movement by, in this case, just setting a keyframe at the first wave, go down to the end, 
C to get all the camera options. Set a few keyframes. And go to the first keyframe and just hit reset to have the default look again. And now again, just go, just going somewhere in the middle, you could set the depth of field to on. And just find the right focus distance. You can do that by just cranking up the aperture in this way. It will really so I yeah, hope you learned a little bit in level. this tutorial about how this to just create makes it nice looking you to find comic and focus cartoon style assets like this waves here and how to really get an eye for detail. And of course I hope you also learned a little bit about animating, about using paths to create some position keyframes, and of course I really hope that you learned something about setting up a really small scene in 3D space.